Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Achara Kirk. What's up? We're looking at an Amazon Prime India trailer. This one's called Joji. It's starring Fahad Fasil, uh, Baburaj, Shami Thilakan, Unmia. Oh, Jabby. Unimaya, Prasad, Alistair, Alex. And it's directed by Delish Pothan and written by Sayam Pushkaran. <laughs> I'm sure everybody's laughing at my wonderfully bad pronunciation. But Fahad Fasil is on fire. I know. I mean, he is literally the human torch right now because this dude is doing like one movie after another. <laughs> That's interesting. Is this a horror film? Son of what? I could never be the son you desired. Oh no, are they trying to kill the dad? Huh. It feels very much like, um, I've probably said this a bunch of times about Malayalam films, but it feels very much like the kind of indie films that we get over here, independent films, mm -hmm. in the way that it's structured, the way it's shot, the like wide cast of characters all taking place in this like one location. Basically, it all takes place in this house, it's, is what it looks like. And the cinematography is very, very interesting because, you know, when you train yourself to observe the rule of thirds and, you know, just directing in general, when you, when you train yourself to look at things that particular way, like with a photographic eye, you notice that some rules are deliberately being broken or at least framing is deliberately off, such as like positioning the characters at the lower thirds of the frame and showing more of the atmosphere. It either gives you a sense of the atmosphere and like the world that they're in, kind of like what you would do if you were shooting IMAX. Right. Or it's designed to show you that things are quite off, which I am more inclined to, you know, think. Well, yeah, because just, just the way that everything's put together, for me, it, it was particularly the music. Yeah, it was off-putting. Which, yeah, yeah, which I was like, immediately, In, in a good I way, felt, in a good way. It was off-putting in a good way, yes, yeah. Yes, like, it was done deliberately to make you feel like something was off. Yeah. And then, of course, you know, you have Fahad Fasil in there, who's a really great actor, and he does that thing really well, where he plays these guys who are, like, slightly off but they seem normal on the surface, but there's just something about the behavior or the thoughts that you can kind of see brewing like at, behind his eyes and all that, that yeah. just make you feel really nervous. And he does that so well. He did that in uh, Kumbalangi Nights perfectly. Right. And I kind of get a similar sort of vibe here. Although I'm not really sure what's happening yeah. in the story. Like it seems to be a family drama. Well, I mean, I think your guess might've been on point, which is the, the 
calculation of a murder, p- perhaps. Right. Yeah. You know? It seemed like there was definitely something there with him and the father, in the sense、yeah. of him being a disappointment. But the dad is not well, so maybe he's like. Well, what if I just kill him off? Will I get an inheritance? And then、mm-hmm. I'm assuming the the bigger guy maybe is like his brother or something, and he's、right. all like suspecting him and stuff. So right, he's trying to Doctor Kavorkian. What was this? What is that the name of the doctor? Kavorkian. Who's is that? It, the doctor who was like、uh, um, killing his patients because they wanted to die. I don't know about that.、Um, Yeah, Doctor Kavorkian. He was he publicly championed a terminal patient's right to die by euthanasia.、Okay. So yeah, that's, so he wants to Kavorkian his 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 father.、Um, and but the father, I don't think the father is saying like that's the way I want to go, son. No, he's not. But there's an obviously inheritance involved. That's why the guy called him a millionaire. Right. And so. You know he's yeah. Hard Facil is really good at playing the sociopathic characters, like who is who has this veneer of normalness on、yeah. the on the front, but there's just some edge going on inside, and this these moves he's calculating, and some kind of weird hidden sinister behavior is just brewing underneath the surface. He's really good at like just pushing all that down. And acting like everything's cool. Yeah,、you know? and it's and it's really interesting as well, just because physically he's not the type of guy that you would immediately go, oh, I'm intimidated by you. But because there is so much intensity and just I don't know what it is, this like simmering rage or something、right. that you look at him and you're like, yeah, you might not be like physically the strongest looking guy, but I'm scared of you. Right. <laughs> his character in here certainly seems to have a chip on his shoulder. Yeah, and it's explained right there in the trailer. You know, his, his relationship with his father is not great, and his relationship with his siblings also don't seem to be. Or it's not his sibling. He said stepsister. Sister-in-law. So, yeah, sister-in-law. Sorry, not stepsister. He just doesn't seem to be very happy with most of the people around him. It's like that. You know, you got one in every family kind of character. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just that person who's off. Like, there's someone that Achara and I both know, and it's like. You know, the oldest brother, he's cool. The sister, she's cool. The youngest brother, something's just off with him. All raised by the same family, same parents, raised in the same house, and that youngest sibling is just weird. You know what I'm saying? You,、okay. you don't know who I'm talking about?、No. Okay, well that's good. <laughs> I've、okay. disguised it so well. Achar has no idea who I'm talking about. Sometimes you just get one of those guys, and like they have their own agenda going on, and they're just not telling you about it because they know that they shouldn't share that. But they're still feeling those things and thinking those things. So yeah, obviously there's something nefarious at play. It's just not being outwardly spoken, which is what we always come to expect with regional cinema. You know, with their trailers, they they disguise a lot of things really, really well. And so obviously he's got some sort of malicious intentions, but it's not revealed yet. You know, but I mean, I we I think we're on. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't. Think, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibilities to assume he's trying to euthanize his father. Totally, and I think. I mean, even if that's a guess in the wrong direction, I think the feeling of unease that you get while watching this, the sense that something's wrong,、mm-hmm. I feel like you know that's basically what the trailer is showing us. So if you're into this type of family drama, then you know this is completely. Up your alley. The thing that's drawing me in the most is just the cinematography. I'm very compelled by it. I want to, I'd like to watch this just for you know, Shiju Khalid's cinematography here, or the director as well. You know, they, they, it's hard to know. You know what what comes first, chicken or the egg? But they're working together. Delish,、right. Pothan, and Shiju Khalid. It feels like they're creating a, a very beautiful picture here at the very least. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And、uh, check out Achara Kirk on the social media as well as her YouTube channel, YouTube.com/slash Achara. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.